performance, productivity, and exceptional harvest experience. Go Harvest! Get the most out of your S-Series Combine today. Always follow safety instructions and understand all safety decals according to the operator's manual. Always use seat belts when operating the machine or riding as an observer. When parking and leaving the machine, disengage the header and separator. Move the multifunction lever to neutral and apply the parking brake. Shut off the machine, remove the key, and lock the cab. The following video is a quick reference guide for how to effectively perform a power shutdown on your S-Series Combine. Power shutdown is used to determine machine performance and identify required adjustments in the threshing and separating areas. Be sure to lock the brake pedals together and wear seat belts at all times. Closely monitor engine speed on the corner post display. Run the machine at the desired crop settings and throughput levels for at least 20 seconds or until the vision track monitor has stabilized. For pro drive machines, lightly depress the brake pedals. For non pro drive machines, fully depress the brake pedals. Quickly move the multifunction lever to the neutral position. Press the low idle button on the armrest. Allow threshing speed to drop and quickly disengage the header and separator engage switches as engine speed drops near 1200 RPM. Do not shut off the key switch. These power shutdown steps must be rapidly performed in just 3 to 4 seconds. Allow moving components to stop and let the engine cool down. Set the parking brake, shut off the engine, and remove the key. Visually inspect the threshing and separation areas. Visually inspect material for excessive grain damage, kernels left on the cob, and grain loss. Look for uniform material distribution and free grain in the shoe area. Inspection should include the cleaning shoe, auger bed, return pan, fan system, tailings, and clean grain elevator. If no crop material is found in the shoe and separator, stop the procedure and restart the power shutdown. If material is found in the shoe and separator, make adjustments as needed. Recommendations can be found in the operator's manual. Decide what adjustments are needed. Re-enter the cab, fasten the seat belt, and restart the engine. Be sure all bystanders are clear. Open the threshing clearance and engage the separator for material cleanout. Adjust the machine to desired settings and continue harvesting. Repeat the procedure to verify grain quality and acceptable losses. Once acceptable loss levels are attained, calibrate the vision track monitor and continue to harvest. For more detailed information, consult the operator's manual.